Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of XCF4. It is a chemical formula for xenon tetrafluoride and to understand its molecular geometry, we are first going to look at its Lewis structure. So here is the Lewis structure of XCF4 in which xenon is in the center and it is forming single bonds with all the four fluorine atoms over here. Apart from that, there are two lone pairs of electrons on the central atom. Now, all these bonding pairs of electrons and non-bonding pairs of electrons will um, impact the molecular geometry of the xenon tetrafluoride. And if you look at its shape in 3D, you can see that all the fluorine atoms are spread out evenly in the structure because of the repulsive forces that exist between bonding pairs of electrons and even non-bonding and bonding pairs of electrons. So according to VSCPR theory, a molecule tries to acquire a shape in which these repulsive forces between the pairs of electrons are at minimum. So uh, if you look at its uh, molecular geometry in 3D, it appears to be square planar, but let's confirm it by using a steric number and the XN notation. So if you start with the steric number, the steric number for this is um, 6 because there are 4 atoms of fluorine forming bonds with it. So there are 4 electron regions plus the 2 lone pairs that we have over here. Which brings the uh, which brings out the steric number total to six, and hence we have steric number six. There are two lone pairs of electrons, and you have it here, square planar. So uh, as there are two lone pairs of electrons, and as there are uh, six electron regions over here, the molecular geometry is square planar. You can also confirm the same by using AXN notation. The AXN notation for XCF4 will be ax4 n2 so uh, as there are four fluorine atoms forming bonds with xc it would be x4 and for n2 it is because of the fact that there are two lone pairs present on the xenon atom and hence the ax notation will be ax4 n2 you can also refer to that table and check if the answer is square planar and uh, yeah the molecular geometry of xcf4 is square planar and i hope this video helps you to understand that easily and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.